Honey, you know that Dante is the light of my life, right? But I know he can be a royal pain in the ass sometimes. Mm -hmm. Has he always been this stubborn? <laughs> Easter Sunday. Dante's about four years old, makes me a teenager. He refuses to put on his new Easter shoes. All right, I put them on his feet, he takes them off. I put them on, he takes them off, back and forth. We go around until finally, I look at him and say, Dante, no shoes, no Easter egg hunt. All right, good. He puts on his shoes, but he refuses to walk. Okay, so I got to carry this gigantic kid all the way to church with my five-inch heels and my six-inch hairdo, but by God, that kid had shoes on his feet. Okay, so we're, we're there. We're in the church. I look over, middle of the ceremony, no shoes. I just lost my mind. I grabbed his little foot, and I see... He's got little pinpricks of blood all over the back oh, of his no. foot. Yes, we walked out of the shoe store with some kind of defective shoes, and he was too stubborn to tell me. Not that I would have listened anyway, but I learned something that day. You got to pick your battles with Dante. Mm -hmm. And if he really balks at something, there's usually a good reason. Mm, there's good reason. Frank is back. Uh, no one knows where he is, so of course Dante's decided he's gonna catch him. Oh, that's my boy. Yeah, he's gonna use Jason as bait to lure him out. Which... Jason's out of prison? Until they catch Franco, but if Jason escapes, Dante could lose his badge, and he could be charged with aiding and abetting. Well, then Dante's not gonna let Jason escape. No, Dante should have never agreed to the deal in the first place, but that's how he is. He decides what he wants and he goes for it. It's like he has tunnel vision and nothing else matters. He's just like his father that way. <sighs> what, no diatribe against Sonny? There's no point. I mean, I understand Dante wants to protect me and he wants to stop Franco at any cost, but he has to trust Jason and Jason hates him? I don't know, Olivia. I mean, I just, I have a bad feeling about this. We were shopping? <sighs> Yeah, I know. She was going to make dinner. And I am such an idiot for arguing with her. I mean, what was I thinking? And let alone doing it in front of you. Sorry about that. No, oh, it's okay. It's fine. Oh, you know, there I am giving her crap for going to Sunny, which, which took a lot for her to do that, probably. And she was just trying to look out for me. I yelled at her. Mm -hmm. She's got nothing to worry about, though. Jason's not going anywhere. He's unarmed. What? How the hell is he going to defend himself if Franco comes after him, Dante? We're going to protect him. We haven't so far. Look, Jason doesn't usually make a big deal about holding grudges, but he never forgets. And when you're on his bad side, well, there's no getting out, especially for you. To Jason, you will always be the guy who threw me in Pentonville. You know, if you run, it's gonna, it's gonna land on Dante. Yeah, that's even more reason to do it. Dante needs to pay for what he did to Michael. Well, he did get Michael out of prison, released into his custody. And that's enough for you? Michael went through hell in here. And you don't care that Michael's gonna be labeled a killer for the rest of his life because Dante turned him in? Well, of course I care, but the, the, all we wanted was for Michael to get out of prison. And Dante did that. He's my son. Yeah, I don't know and Michael's your son. Sonny, that's what you've always told me. That's what I've always believed. But now it's, it seems like Michael doesn't even matter. That's not true. Well, everything is second to Dante. And that lying son of a bitch needs to feel what Michael felt. He needs to see those bars in front of his eyes. How do you think a cop would do in here? Okay, you need if I had a chance to do it, why wouldn't I? Okay, you need to think clearly right now. Okay? I know you're upset. But if you run and Dante goes to prison, where does that leave Michael? Because you know the judge would love to have him back in here. That can't be what you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you've been watching me, finding excuses to be around me, making sure that I catch you in the locker room half naked just so I can see you. Okay, you need to get over and that. You go to Jake's knowing that I'm gonna be there. All right, you know what, I will cop to that. And you know why? Because I miss the old Patrick. And sometimes he shows up there. And I don't see any harm in that because we have been friends for a long time. But I need to tell you, I, I never imagined that Patrick Drake would be the housebroken husband who's stuck at home with a kid while mommy's off saving the world. You know, that the guy that used to drive 180 miles per hour down the beach with no headlights would be attacked by a killer toy chest and then, you know, use that as a transparent excuse to come and see up. me. 
Make me. You touch your skin.